welcome back this is second section and third video in previous video we created this uh, simple PHP script to recall the data from the database and to uh, show to the users on this result page you can see over here so actually we are creating a while loop which will uh, you know uh, which will show the results again and again or how many rows are in the table so all of them will be shown using this while loop and also we have an array mysql fetch array which is a default array and inside that array we have the whole row and we are just saying we, we have the whole row of the table so we are just creating local variable and getting the data from the database inside the science table now when we have all the data saved in the local variables like site title is having site title from the database so we need to show them we can show them inside this echo statement just let me first uh, show the title in inside h2 tag h2 and just say the local variable just call the local variable site underscore title h2 close and after that uh, ahrab here we will use a link and site underscore link anchor anchor tag anchor tag is basically used to show uh, to show or to display HTML links inside a page but this is a dynamic link which is coming from the database so we can just uh, add the site underscore link variable which is bringing a value the link value from the table and this will become a link you can just add an attribute called target uh, which and blank blank means it will be open, opening in a new page in a new tab and remember that you cannot insert double quotes when you are echoing anything inside the echo statement of PHP because the echo statement itself uh, having this double quotes in the starting and double quotes in the ending here so you will just insert the single quotes or here in HTML tags inside HTML tags okay the third thing is keywords we don't really need keywords actually in fact we should remove this field this line because we we just inserted the keywords for searching purpose not for showing on the site on the result page so there, therefore therefore we are just removing it from here now a third thing is description the site description so for it we will just uh, add HTML paragraph tag and we'll just say uh, align equal to justify and here we will echo the variable or insert the variable that is site underscore description paragraph close and the last thing is site sorry img source equal to images and inside images folder the image name is this one site underscore image because both of the uh, file server and the database server are connected with each other so this is basically making a communication establishing a communication uh, with the folder inside this project you can see over here this is the project folder and all the images are here but we have also saved the name of the images inside the database or here you can see these are the names of the images SEO core.jpg and SEO today.jpg etc. So we are saying that pick the images from the images folder inside the files folder and the name is this one coming from the database. So this will not reflect anything. Now we must give a width and size or here to the image because the, if we don't add any uh, specific size width and height then the image will be displayed in the exact size the original size which we uh, earlier uploaded 
so the page will be you know looking bad and ugly so therefore we need to specify the width which will be is equal to for example 100 pixels and the height will be is equal to 100 pixels after that this is a single tick we don't need this we don't need to a double quotes over here or something like that or closing tick just control s or you can save it from here save now just go to back to this page and for example write su tabs click you are having an error on line number 31 while oh sorry we have just forgot to add a bracket or here a parenthesis you know there are four parentheses used in this because there are two uh, conditions you can see the while as well as the mysql fetch array so there are two functions used so we need to add four parentheses we just missed one over here now control s2 again save and go to this page refresh it I'm sorry again the SEO tips search now and you are now seeing the results over here you can say you can see the results all of the results we uh, our is added to the database this database are now displaying on this page you can see if you now search for okay we need to also insert a button over here after the form take yeah after the form take we need to insert a button a link a harab is equal to search dot html and we say go back Control is to save now come here we are having a button or a link over here we can make it button as well like this button and button close Control s to save inside the link we have inserted the button so the button itself will be a link this one now you if you click this you will come here now right beauty tips for example in search now so you are displayed the results related to actually the beauties now if you click this link it will be opening in a different page you can see over here or if you go below click this one and be seeing this page actually what's going on here this search engine is basically you know uh, selecting the data from the database accordingly like the post or site title the link the description and the image and you can also in this is coming through the while loop because whenever you insert something using this form so all of the data open the keyword selection when someone is entering a keyword over here and then searching so the data is coming here now you can also make some specification for example if you say let's go back and say something like uh, you know football players short football players it says no there is no result you can see but we want if someone write anything that we don't have in our database here in the site keywords then we can uh, display any message to the user that uh, you have wrote, uh, written a wrong word or we are sorry that we don't have any result for you or anything like that or if someone clicks this button without any without writing anything like someone press this button without writing anything like search now so the data is still coming the previous data 
so therefore we need to stop it so this we will be doing in the next video of this section but let me just explain a little bit things to you that we have uh, simply created first we have established a connection of MySQL and with the search database and after that we have the search we are saying that if the search button is pressed or the search button is active which is here on this page this one so then we said in PHP in a PHP script do the following this these all things this code will be executed when the search button the search button is active so we are getting the user value and saving the list local variable and after that a query we are running saving into this local variable this is the query where we have actually uh, used two statements or two conditional uh, functions like where and like like is always used for matching words in PHP so that is the value and we are saying that find in the side keywords if any word is matching then we are saying that a query should be run mysql query this one and we are saving that into the run result and after that we are just running a loop while loop with a mysql fetch array which is creating an array of the table in the rows of the in inside the table so after that by using this row result array or here which is a local variable and basically saving this array so we are getting each field we need for example the site title site link and site description etc and we are saving them actually in these local variables site title site link site description etc and after that finally we have just used echo statement to show this result when someone will search anything or someone will click so this code will run and these all things will be shown automatically because we have just uh, the beauty in of PHP is that we do a thing only once we just edit this variable once and the respective HTML takes and after that you can see or hear you know all the results is coming from the database that is the beauty because you just wrote and the loop is running again and again May, how many results are uh, how many uh, records are there in the database this while loop will fetch all of them and show it to the user so in the next video we will validate a little bit this form I mean the users input we will uh, validate it and after that we will go further so stay tuned